Alright, let's head on over to the blue room with our douche of a partner here. As soon as I figure out how the hell to leave. Right up the street here. You survive the war and then get blown to pieces back home. Here it is, right here. More than you think. Jazz clothes right down the street. 5:08 p.m. Let's head in here. Sweet, got some jazz going. Plus morphine showing up on the street. This guy is such an if asshole. If you care about working in this town, you better give me something on Biddleston and Vaux. Or their knucklehead buddies, Tyree and Lamont. And this is your idea of making inquiries on the stone floor? <laughs> I've told you a thousand times about speaking that German gibberish at me outside. Oh. How about you get a drink? Well, I see. How about you knock this dude right on his ass? How about that? I don't understand what's wrong with that. I don't understand why Cole can't just what knock this dude straight out. Because he definitely deserves it. Why antagonize him, officer? You know what he's capable of. Ask your questions, head officer. We have work to do. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can do this better. German Exile Nightclub Jazz Singer. Army Surplus Morphine. People are dying of overdoses. If you know anything about it, you need to tell me. I can't help you. A lot of cats are into the thing. There's nothing special about your boys. Okay. Well. I don't know what to do here. They have a blue room pass. Now, do I say lie and show them the blue room pass, or is that not going to work? Here comes the uh, the questions that they need to make a little bit clearer in the game. You know, can I do this, or is it, or should I just doubt? I guess I'm going to have to go ahead and use intuition because I'm not sure. Ninety-nine point two percent of players. I guess we should ask the community again. Everybody went with doubt, so let's go ahead and go with them. You can do right. the easy way with me, or I can call my partner back over. Uh, I can assure you, he's a lot less sensitive. You think your threats frighten me? Black man don't supply nothing. You think there's a black man in this town holding on to two tons of morphine? He'd be dead in a minute. White man supplies, black man buys. Okay. So there's a white dude that is. Supplying everything according to this guy. My partner mentioned a couple of names. You recognize them? I have no idea what you're talking about. Once again, <laughs> do I say lie and show her the blue room pass? Musicians pass. Musicians admit one pass. So obviously they've played at the blue room club, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go say lie. Because it makes sense, right? She would know who they are because they have a pass to play at the Blue Room. So obviously they've played there before and she should know of them. So I'm going to say lie. I don't believe you. You knew these men. And how would you like to prove that, detective? Okay, so let's show her the pass and see what happens. And no, and it's wrong. See, this, this, it doesn't make sense. That doesn't make any sense. How? <laughs> it just, it doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't. And that is what's wrong with the game. Drugs are against the law, Elsa. You're so full of courage, This is getting us nowhere. Do you think you're in your war against nobody? It's not my war. It's against the law. My job is to prosecute the laws of 
of this city. Do you think you can stop people from needing drugs to take? I'm asking the questions here. Then why do you come to me with your stupid questions? You know who controls the drugs in this city. It's not enough to just survive, Elsa. You have to try and make the world a better place. Great words. Very noble. But words are just words. Always. She's right. We need to pay a visit to the mixer. Mickey Cohen. Do you know where to find him? This time of day? You'll find him holding court at the Macambo. You can wait. There's something I need to be sure of. Give me till tomorrow morning. Okay. You don't do anything I wouldn't do, partner. Wow. Which would be... See, and there you go. That is my, that's my beef with this game. Why didn't it work? She says she has no... She doesn't know the men. But I have a pass that shows that they played at the Blue Room. So how was I supposed to know that, you know, it just, it doesn't make any sense. That's my number one concern with this game is the interrogation system isn't clear. It's, it's not, you know, sometimes it, it just, it seems inconsistent to me. You know, and this has happened multiple times. I don't know You know, I, I just, I don't know what, this whole lie versus doubt thing is, is an interesting idea, but it's, in my opinion, it's not well executed because it's inconsistent. You have a piece of evidence that clearly states that they were at the blue room, but how are you supposed to know, you know, whether or not you can use it or not? It just, uh, it doesn't make any sense to me. Just like the thing with the rope. You know? Stopping right here. What the hell is this? tailing mission that's going to annoy the hell out of me. Well, it's going to trailer my stuff uh, automatically, I guess. Oh, there she is. What the hell? What the hell is Roy doing? He, okay. He took the car. Excellent. I don't know what the hell happened, but all right. <laughs> Super confused, but what's new? LAPD, we're looking for Mayor Cohen. I believe he has lunch here. There's not going to be any trouble, is there? Which table? Number three, if you'll follow me. Look at this place. No, why can't my table? <laughs> we have some questions. Hi, Regarding... Mickey. How's it hanging? Fine. Just fine, Roy. I see you brought Ega Beaver along. <laughs> Hope he's not going to put the shakes on me again. Cole Phelps. Mickey Cohen. Good afternoon. <laughs> he has manners. Aren't you a little green for this kid? Meet Johnny Stompanato, Cole. 
He has the biggest schlong in Hollywood and the smallest gun. Oh, yeah? maybe that's the other way around. I can never quite remember. You're a funny guy, Morgan. Haven't I always said we're a funny guy, Morgan? How much fun it would be to get together with us. Poor Johnny. He's the dark, sensitive type. He's a serviceman, too, Cole. Johnny was in Okinawa. You were in the crunch? Sixth Marines. The lieutenant who won the Silver Star upon Sugar Loaf. I'm pretty. Something like that. All right, have we finished flirting? <laughs> something to discuss, Roy? Are you going to stand around beating the meat while my lunch gets cold? We have some questions. Do I need my lawyer? All right, here we go. Let's see if we can, if we can actually do something that makes sense. Your brother-in-law, Lenny Finkelstein, was selling stolen morphine. He had one-third of the shipment. Old news, kid. I don't know anything about what Lenny was up to. Well, it ain't true, but do I have anything to pin the lie? I have absolutely no idea. So I'm just gonna say doubt. So Got it right. You don't know what happened to the rest of the ship. Lenny, God rest his soul, was a moron. <laughs> his family, though, and I haven't made a beef about that, so count yourself lucky, kid. The H is a filthy habit. I don't condone it. A simple solution would be to have all the dope fiends put down. So you don't know where he got the morphine. Kid, ask a question you might get an answer to. And somehow that's right, even though he didn't give me any information. Okay. We believe there's a link between a group of Marines and the morphine stolen from the SS Coolidge. One of those Marines was shot to death in a club last night. I wouldn't know anything about that. Well, that ain't freaking true, either. Say, kid, I'm shocked that in the land of opportunity, Uncle Sam's finest feel the need to resort to crime. It's a dangerous business. I can attest to that. I'd recommend they get out of the life quickly. Oh, well, I got them both right. Saying goodbye on the sidewalk will never make the papers. But we had a judge in Pasadena say adios the other day. Prominent white people popping their claws makes everyone nervous. You know, dope has never been my thing, boy. It's always been for Schmendricks, like uh, Jack D and Jimmy Utley. But uh, I'll ask around and I'll get back to you. Hey, you boys want some lunch? How about a drink? We'll take a rain check on that. Come on, Cole, we're leaving. We have to cut that, though. It looks mm. bad with people dying. We have to get the rest of it. There's no way of watering down the stuff in those little packages. We have to squeeze on those guys and get the rest of it. That's so. some type of fright that is. We'll see. So, they obviously are involved. We knew that much. That fucking rat Stoker has gone public about Brenda. Who is Brenda? Yeah, what Brenda the hell? Brenda is LA's most famous madam. Everyone knows it? Of course everyone knows. Brenda pays her way. Are we cops or a collection agency? <laughs> Wars have been around since the Bible. Our job is to keep it off the street so Joe Citizen and his wife can stroll around unmolested. And we should change the law. Are you out of your mind? Every politician in America is against prostitution. Yeah. Except when they're using them. So where does Stoker come in? He objects to the LAPD and the administration taking its cut. Is everyone in on this? Yeah, and that's the problem. From a little acorn does a large tree grow. She could bring the whole thing crashing down. Is this getting any more crooked? Aren't you supposed to be working the... Sir, do you know which robber detectives are working the army surplus theft from the Cordage? Caldwell and McManus. I saw Caldwell in the squad room not long ago if you want to speak to him. Thank you, sir. We'll do that. Okay. This way. 